everyone, it's Blake here. And it's been a wild few weeks here at the Comics Cafe. It all started when another coffee shop opened up and they were stealing our customers. Comics Cafe, coffee so bad it's comical. And if that wasn't bad enough, our cafe was running out of money. We were already having money problems and we've lost a lot of customers. Um, so we can't stay open. Deed for the sale of 316 Galaxy Street? Mrs. K, you're selling the cafe? It didn't look good. But then something amazing happened. All of our old customers heard we were in trouble and they raised enough money to save the Comics Cafe. The Comics Cafe can stay. <laughs> <laughs> but while all that drama has been going on, I've still been working on my original comic book series. <clears throat> Caleb Blake, everyday superhero. It's, uh, well, you know. It's going just as yeah. The goal is to have the entire series finished by summer. The problem is, uh, summer's coming quickly. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news is we have enough to pay all our bills this week. What's the bad news then? That's all we have left. That's not gonna last long. Yeah, it's okay though. We have so much to be grateful for. God provided for us, but we still need to work really hard to keep the cafe open. And we could really use some more customers. Maybe we do like, um, like a spring special? Hmm. Like buy one smoothie, get one half off. That might work. Hmm. Say Blake, hmm. are these numbers right? It says we only sold four comics last month. Uh, yeah, let me see. I, I sold two of the Hackshaw Harriets, an Amphibia, and oh, a new one called Rad Riley. Okay, that's the fewest amount of comics we have sold all year. We might need to run a sale or get some new series in here. Oh, Mrs. Kirby, don't worry about it. I'm almost finished with the third issue of Caleb Blake. <laughs> Soon, people are gonna be lining up down the block for this new comic book. Wait, the, the third? What about the second? It's gonna be a limited release, I promise. You're not gonna miss much. Blakester, where have you been? I've been looking for you since school ended. I mean, this is where I always am after school. Oh, yeah, right. Um, have you heard the news? Is it chicken tender day at lunch tomorrow? Even better. They just announced that they're releasing a new Light Force TV series. What? You know what? It's going to be so awesome. Mrs. K, did you know about this? A little birdie might have told me that it might be happening. Dude. Mrs. Kirby and her friend were the creators of the original Life Force comics. Seriously? How did I not know this? <laughs> Zany World Entertainment is excited to announce Life Force 99, a new streaming series developed by Marvin Scarpelli. Oh, it's going to be so epic! They're sending the whole Life Force team all the way back to 1999. All the way back. <laughs> Wait, if there's a new Life Force show, then. I'll bet people are gonna wanna buy the comics again. We have to let everyone know that we've got all of the comic books and the trading cards and, and the collectible pins. This will be a great way to get new customers in here. That's a great idea, Taylor. I'll start spreading the news. I'll go update the sign. Wait a second. More customers means more people to see my new comic book. Caleb Blake, everyday superhero. I'm off to the purse. two issues of Light Force. And if I can interest you in the first ever, and she's gone. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to print 200 of these. Hopefully I can get a refund. Oh, great news, Blake. We already met our goal to double our comic book sales this week, and it's only Wednesday. Yeah. You were right, Taylor. Light Force is our best seller, and I think we need to have it right up front for everyone to see. Yeah, okay, sure. Blake, this is good news. You've done such a great job organizing no. and researching. No, no, it's Mrs. Kirby, I'm not, I'm not upset about that, okay? No one cares about my comic book. I, I sold one to my grandma, but that doesn't even count. Yeah, that's tough, Blake. Writing is filled with ups and downs. What was that? The online ordering bot. 
I'm sorry, what? It's like a robot inside of the computer. Basically, it just helps customers to order their drinks and their comic books ahead of time. So when you hear that sound, that means you have a new order to fill. Awesome job, Taylor. This is gonna make us way more efficient. Oh, you're so great with technology. Yes, you sure are. Uh, one strawberry kiwi smoothie and the first three issues of South Dakota Sharia coming right up. All right, Blakester, prepare to be amazed. Oh, hey, Mrs. K. Uh, Mason. Why are, how, what? Oh, so uh, there's this really cool hockey camp that I want to go to over the summer, but it is super expensive. So I asked Bree if you guys needed any help around the cafe, and she said only the best smoothie makers can work here, but I thought if I can crush the ice, I am sure that I can oh, make- Oh, Mason, Mason. We can't have you in the kitchen without you being trained. And we love having you here, but I don't think we can afford having more workers right now. Oh. Yeah. That, um, that makes sense. Yeah, sorry if I overstepped. I'll uh, take this. You know this. what? You, this looks pretty good, actually. Uh, let me talk to Mr. Kirby and see if I can get you on our on-call list. It's the people we call if someone's sick. That'd be awesome. Thank you, Mrs. K. I really need to go, but you should try that. Oh, oh that's actually pretty good. And Excellent presentation. Huh. Great. Now Mason's better at this job than me. Everything is going right for everyone except me. <laughs> do I even belong here? You know I'm still sitting here, right? I mean, do my characters need a longer inner monologue? Maybe the character arc isn't perfected enough? Maybe I. There's something missing that I just haven't written. Mix up some myrrh and straighten your phylacteries. It's time for Bible Character, a theater. Jesus died, Cleopas. He was on a cross. We buried him. I know, but they're saying he came back to life. Cleopas, that's crazy. People don't just come back to life. Mary said she actually met him and talked to him this morning. Hey! They don't know it yet, but I'm actually Jesus, the guy that they're talking about. Shh. Hey, you want to walk with us? We're headed to Emmaus, just down the road. Sure. What are you guys talking about? Something about someone dying and coming back to life? What? Are you the only person who doesn't know about the things that happened these past few days? What things? A couple days ago, a prophet named Jesus died. He was put on a cross. It was awful. But some people said they saw him today, alive. And if you go to the tomb they buried him in, a poof, his body's gone. But come on, how could that happen? People don't just come back from the dead, right? Really? You still don't understand? The prophet said that the Messiah was to suffer and die and come back to life. Jesus explained to them how everything in the world, God's whole big story from the very beginning, was all pointing to the same thing, Jesus. It was only after that they realized, you're totally him, you're Jesus. Whoa, you really did come back to life. Jesus told his followers that everything everything was all leading up to the time he came and saved the world. But now that Jesus already did that, what does it mean for us? Well, check out this verse in the book of Ephesians in the Bible. We are God's creation. He created us to belong to Christ Jesus. Now we can do good works. Long ago, God prepared these works for us to do. You are God's creation. Everything in our world, whether it happened 6,000 years ago or just last week, or even if it hasn't happened yet, is all part of God's gigantic story. In Comics Cafe, Blake seems worried that he doesn't belong. Do I even belong here? 
I think this story could remind Blake that God made him part of his story for a reason. The same thing is true for you. God made you for a reason and knows his plan for you. So today, don't forget. You are part of God's story. You are loved. And because of what Jesus did for us, we can live for God and learn more about his plan for us every single day. That's true for Blake, too. Coming up, we'll see if Blake can learn that and find out what a difference it makes in his life. All right. Well, we are completely sold out of comics. At least comics people actually want. Whoa! Did you really sell every single comic? I didn't think that many people were Light Force fans. Well, the trailer has over a million views. You did a great job, Blake. I mean, selling the comics is really gonna help the cafe. I mean, Taylor, you don't need me to sell the comics, okay? I'm sure your tablet could have done a better job than me. <laughs> Another existential crisis? Yeah, I think this is the fourth one this year. Mrs. Kirby, I. I just don't think I belong here. I mean, everyone is doing awesome stuff. Because Taylor, she's got the whole online ordering thing, right? You're good with the mathy stuff. Mason, he's great at making smoothies and he doesn't even work here. I mean, I, all I do is just pack orders. Blake, you have such an important role here. Your love of comics is why we transformed this place. Okay, but Mr. Kirby said that me working here would help me with my comic book, right? It's not working. And I don't know, I just feel like my story doesn't matter. Okay, Blake, let's pretend a customer is coming in to buy some comic books. Do they usually only buy one book? Well, I mean, even if they did, I'm sure they'd come back for the next issue. And why do you think that is? People like reading about exciting adventures and uh, cool characters. That's a good answer, but I think it's because of this. To be continued. That's how every single comic ever made ends. So people come back to get the next book so that they can find out how the story continues. Exactly. The story isn't over after one or two comics, and each individual book might have a suspenseful ending, but that's not the end of the entire story. Okay. That's great. I'm not part of some epic story. Actually, you are, Blake. And so are you, Taylor. And so am I. God started his story when he created our whole world. And it started out really good, but then people started to do wrong things, and then we got separated from him. And that's why God sent his son, Jesus, so that we could be connected with him again. Exactly, Taylor. God's story is all about making things right again. And we get to be right in the middle of that story until he returns again someday. Huh. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's great. But where do I fit into God's story? I think I know. Mrs. K, you told me that God made us the way that we are for a reason. He wants us to be a part of his story. And he's given us special talents and abilities to do that. Really? Absolutely, Blake. God made you a great artist, and he brought you here when the cafe needed it the most. And you make our customers feel so welcome, and you help them pick out good comic books. Mason keeps coming here because he likes being your friend. And if it weren't for you and Bree, I probably still wouldn't have any friends. Don't give up, Blake. You belong here, and you're part of God's story even if you don't understand it yet. Okay. Thanks, guys. You know, I'm, I'm glad to be here. And I won't give up on my comic book. Blake, sir, I was sitting next to Ricky at lunch and he has the craziest light force theory. It is going to blow your mind. I need to see this. Okay, I don't know. I mean, I've read some pretty crazy theories in the comments. <laughs> this is the best one by far. So, in the trailer, that girl that appears, he's saying that that's Vanguard's sister. And that shimmer effect Maybe you did get some ideas from here, Blake. 